Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. This here is one of my favorite types of shrubs called a viburnum. Uh, this particular one is a Korean spice viburnum. It gives a really nice fragrance in the springtime. And I've always wanted to propagate a few more, so I tried something a little different this time. I basically just filled up one of these coconut type core pots and with a compost mix. Took a cutting. And it's probably about a three to four inch size cutting here with a couple leaves on it and I stuck it in a flat and just kept it watered and moist and as you can see right here we've got rooting now what's great about doing it this way is I can just take this whole pot stick it into another pot to upsize it or plant it directly in the ground whichever I want to do and I don't have to transplant it I don't have to mess with the roots you can see that they're coming out of that coconut fiber already and uh, eventually that fiber will disintegrate and the plant will grow right on through that. So you can see it's just an easy way to do that. I've done that with a couple other things over here. I've attempted it with some blueberry cuttings, but they have not rooted yet. But I've got some crepe myrtles over here and they're doing pretty good so far. I don't see any roots coming on that one yet, but I suspect there probably are some roots already started on the interior portion of that pot. Let me show you this one. This cutting has come along a little bit further. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom. Oh, there we go. See there's some roots sticking out of the side right there. And that's a sure sign to me that it is ready to go into the next size pot. So I'll just pot up these that have uh, already got a nice set of roots on them. Put them into a larger size pot so I can grow them on a little bit better. And uh, eventually we'll transplant those over to our new property and get them growing over there. So that's a crepe myrtle and a Korean spice viburnum. Um, crepe myrtles are great plants here in the south. They're not native to Tennessee and surrounding areas, but they've sure been naturalized. And if you grow them right, they can be a great tree. So, and as you can see, not all cuttings work out. That's okay. I'm just kind of doing it in a lazy way this time and just seeing what works and I think I've got three of those Korean Spice Viburnums all rooted they're all looking pretty healthy let me pull this one out yep we got some good roots on this coming out the side right here and you can find these kind of pots pretty much any garden supply type place you can order them online or um, even go with an alternative. You might be able to do peat pots with that or uh, cow pots or something like that. So lots of options to do it this way. This is just kind of an easy way to do it as long as you can maintain the watering. Spray them once a day in the morning. Keep them in a shady location. They should be good to go. Uh, this is better, best done with easier to root plants uh, that don't take as much of a need of misting and things like that. So. Anyway, that's Dave from Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And, uh, you know, subscribe. I appreciate you following. Thanks. Have a great day.